So guys, I'll show you how to create buffer for roads using KJS 3.1. Buffering for roads, this is good actually when you have a road or particular road networks, then you have a right of way. So you want to establish the right of way, like for instance, if it's 60 meters or 120 meters. So I'll show you how to do it. So first you need to open your QJS like this, empty layer. So I'll add my QJS road share files. So I'll go to layer, add layer, add vector layer, and I'll browse, go where my roads are, open this one, add, okay. So this, these are the Dar es Salaam roads, okay, I have them here. So having these roads, now in order to create a buffer, because it is in meters, it is in distance, but the other thing here, we have this in degrees, that means having this in degrees, it will be a bit difficult, unless otherwise you do the conversion, like multiply by cosine of an angle. So I'll show you how we do the buffer in a very simple way. So we first, you need to convert this into meters, I mean into the UTM zone meters. So I right click here, I'll export it, save feature as, then I'll browse where this, I want this share file to be saved. I'll create another folder here. I'll call it UTM zone because it's Dar es Salaam, which is cost zone 37 south. I prefer using the same zone. So I'll put it here, I'll say DSM 37 south, which is in meters. Okay. So I'll say save. Then you need to change the CRS coordinate reference system. So you need to click this one. Then I'll go for this one. UTM zone 37 south. You see, there is a section here that it is, lies in this particular zone. Then I'll say okay. Then I'll look at okay, yes. Then add the save file, I'll tick it so that after converting it, it should be added on the map. So I said, okay, so it's already up added. There is a difference, you see, there's a shift of data. So I remove this one, the other one, which was not in, which was in degrees. So I remove this one, remove this layer. So now I have my roads now here. These are in, these are for Dar es Salaam. So I can also add a, a satellite image or an open layer so that you can just keep it a good visualization. So I'll go and add, for instance, Maybe a Google satellite here. You need to have internet connection. See, there you are. Then I'll move it so that you can have a good look of our roads. So I'll zoom this like this. You see? So these are our roads already. So having our roads like this, so now I'll do the buffer. Okay? I'll do the buffer. Doing the buffer, that means you need to go to vector. See? Geometry, sorry, geomet geoprocessing tools, then buffer. Then I click the buffer. So buffer, this is an algorithm which computes a buffer area. So it can be the point, if you have uh, like a well or a dam, you can do a buffer for some meters. But for our case, because it's line vector, so we're going to do buffer for line. So for Dar es Salaam, we have a, I'll take a general principle that all rows, the buffer zone will be 30 meters on the other side and 30 meters on the other side. So I'll, I'll, I'll fill the default layers, the input layer is Dar es Salaam, 37 south, which is okay, distance. So it is in meters, you see, so you can keep it also in kilometers if you want. So in meters, that means because you want to 30 on the other side and 30 on the other side, we are keeping 30. Segments, I can leave it. Air cup style, that means the during the connection of one road and another, should it be round, flat or square? Let us keep it round, this is okay. So you can leave everything by default, then you can do a run. So you can save your buffered layer if you want to, or you can, it can create a temporary layer, which is okay, but you can also save it. So then I'll do a run. So upon doing a run, you see now I have thick layers here. So let me turn this off. So that you can look now, what is this actually? I'll do it this way. You see, I have thick lines here. You see, this this is a thick line already, buffer line. So when I measure here, for instance, measure line from this point here to here, see, it's almost 30 because I'm not accurate. You see 30, then I go on the other side, it is 60 almost. So 60 meters, that means 30 on the other side, 30 on the other side. So I can format it so that you can look at in detail what does this mean. So let us go first for trunk roads. I'll select trunk roads so that you can see uh the roads which i'm talking about road class i'll go for the trunk roads so that we can see the right of way for instance i'll select the trunk roads okay this here for instance all of these these ones here i'll select them then i'll do the formatting so that you can have a better visualization symbology i'll put it black so that you can have a good visualization Okay, so you see, so these are the trunk roads I've selected. For instance, this is the trunk road, you see. So you can turn on the Google satellite now. See, you can look at, okay, those who are building alongside the road. So if it's a, 
so you can turn it off you see so this is the i think this is the brt lane so when i put buffer that means oh some of the houses are within the buffer zone of the road so this is you see here this road here for instance so you just turn it on okay so you can do it like this you can also do the transparency for instance you can make it so that you can have a better visualization symbol here you are opacity you can change it to somewhere 48 and okay you see so it's somebody so you can see if there's a construction a house constructed within the right of way so you see you can see so you see so this is how to do the analysis of buffering so it can ask it can act also for a river so if, if it's a 60 meter so if it's 60 60 on the other side or if it's a or if it's roads so this is the way of doing buffering using simple open source qjs okay thank you hope i've understood if there's any question you can just write to me i'll reply to you thank you